I'm going to show you today how easy it is to print a do-it-yourself uh, piece of artwork from Etsy and it's actually from one of my favorite artists, Mayo's Art Box. I'm going to search for Mayo's Art Box and pick out something that I'd like to print. I've already been here so I know which one I want. It's this one. All right, it's Afro. I've always wanted to have an Afro. All right, so what we're gonna do is gonna purchase it. $13.90, it's at 11 by 14 print. Oh boy, I don't know why I have to. And it's not really a Okay, submit. Order. Awesome, I can view my file immediately. It didn't take that long, it was like two minutes, but now it has my download link and I just download it. Should save automatically to my downloads, which it did. And there it is, right Photoshop, there. just because that's what I'm familiar with, and then you just hit Apple P, print it to your printer, default is fine, and shortly, print. Oh, I'll tell you about my paper. The paper is a cardstock, I agree, a little bit. You know, it's got a little bit more thickness than just a plain old piece of paper, and I think it'll look really great, but you can probably do high gloss photocopy paper or whatever you wish. And this is the fun part. It's coming, it's coming. <clears throat> well, that looks really good, doesn't it? So, I have picked out a little bit of frame. This came from a thrift store just down the street. You can pick them up close to anywhere. But anyway, yeah, framing is pretty easy. This one already has a mat in it, which is great. And all I need to do is align it up. And I think I like that. Maybe a little bit more afro, right? Okay. A little bit more afro. Probably should use archival tape. I'm just going to use plain old tape tape, scotch tape, which they don't call scotch tape scotch tape where you think they should. They call it something else. <laughs> All right, it's wool ready. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna keep it with the other ones. What do you think? Right there, I like it. There it goes. 